Man, Joe, what do you got here, bud? I got me a deer. Man, son, you done good. Spike buck. Look at those feet. Aren't those really unique? I'm, I've not seen feet like that on any deer I've killed. The hoofs are like half white, half black on some some of them. And on the others, they're all white. 100% white feet. That's incredible. I don't know that I've... Well, I know out of all the deer I've killed, I've never killed one that had white feet like that. So I'm sure other people that watch this may have, but we sure haven't. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take these feet and we're going to make gun racks out of them because they're so unique. You just don't see feet like this every day. So we're going to show you how to make gun rack out of deer feet, folks. Look at that foot. That is just so interesting to me how the half the hoof is white. Half the hoof is white. That's just unbelievable. Plus the fur is white around there. Okay. On these back feet, there's no joint right here. The joint is here. And I don't really want to get into that. There's some glands and whatnot. So what you need to do is just cut the skin around there like that. And you're just going to take a saw and cut the bone. And then finish it up with your knife. So that's basically what it's going to look like. Isn't that a nice looking foot? 100% white hoofs. Very odd for a white-tailed deer. And when it's done, it's going to look like that. Into white-tailed deer quite a bit, you know this is very, I would call it very unusual to have a deer with white feet like this. And interestingly enough, these dew claws are matching on black, black on one side and white on the other. So we're gonna get to skinning these out right now and show you how we're gonna prepare these things to be mounted. Okay, I am just about to take bone out of this foot and I'm gonna show you how to prepare this thing for taxidermy. The first thing you're gonna want is a very sharp knife. So I've got this Dewalt knife that has a disposable blade in it. Now, as you see, there is already a natural line in the hair right here where the, the hair is coming from two different directions. So we're gonna use that line to make our cut. Now you're gonna bring the cut right up the leg, right between the two dew claws, and you're gonna stop about three quarters of an inch from the fork of his hoof. Next, you're gonna start working that skin away from the bone and the cartilage by putting pressure on it, put pressure on the hide and that will allow you a space in which to run your knife. Once you finish opening up on both sides of the bone, the top side will just peel right off. Now you're gonna take your knife and start working this slowly and carefully and from now on, you've got to be careful not to cut the skin. Anytime you cut the skin, you have to sew it up because it's a hole that's just going to spread as the hide dries. And that's a pain, so you don't want to do that. You're just going to keep working it, keep pulling it. And then when it won't pull anymore, you just cut some more. As you go on down, you'll find the split between the two hoofs begins way up at the ankle. So you'll want to take your knife and cut that loose a little at a time. And then you're going to just keep on coming down to the last joint, the last joint right there at the hoof. Let's, let's go find that. Now, as you get into this hoof and you start getting down in there, it's going to start getting very tight. So you may want to grab yourself an X-Acto knife. They are fairly cheap and you can get them at any kind of a, like an art store or something like that. So you'll just take that and you'll be able to slip it right in. And it does a lot better job at precision cutting. You're going to need some precision right down in here and you're gonna to need to be able to slip your knife into these tight spots. 
can see that separating right there where the knuckle is. Yeah, we're halfway there. And there you have it. So now we'll push this all back in. Now you can see there's a gland right here that exudes this fatty looking white stuff and it it don't smell like fat. It smells pretty raunchy, but I guess that's how deer can tell where each other's been or something. So we've got the first one here skinned out and ready to go. So we're gonna get the other three knocked out real quick and we'll get on to the preservation stage. All right, we've got our forms in that are for feet. These are medium sized forms because Tennessee deer usually don't have humongous feet. We've got, our, we've got our special deer feet that we like here that have the white. So I'm gonna show you how to go about curing these things out and getting them on these forms, sewing them up and making your deer feet gun holders, gun racks, it's pretty neat. Okay, so you're gonna take some borax and you're just gonna rub it all over this skin. Now don't do all of them because it starts shrinking that hide and it might take you a good little while to get all of them sewed up and you can't hardly get them wrapped around your form. So what you wanna do is do one at a time and just force that, force that borax up into around those hoofs where that you where you skinned them out earlier. Just dump that dump that right down in there, and then pack it in. Take your fingers and press it in. Get it all the round. There's a bone that comes up right there. Get it all around that bone right there, and just work it in. You're going to need to have a needle with a big eye on it so that you can get this heavy duty string twine. You can use waxed string, some kind of strong heavy duty string to sew up these hides. Sometimes it's hard to get your thread through the eye of the needle, but this here makes it easy. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna start sewing it up. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is take some caulk. I've got just regular old kitchen and bath caulk. And you're gonna, you're gonna caulk some down in there to where it will mesh with your form. Your form's gonna go in like this and push down into that caulk. And then you're gonna be able to start your sewing. Just leave this hide laying back here, soaking in this borax for now. And we're gonna get started on sewing our, sewing our skin. Okay, now when you're stitching this thing, it's very hard to get it through that that thick deer hide, so you're gonna wanna take a pair of pliers and use that to force that needle through there and be careful not to spear your finger. Then when you get it all the way through the first time, go ahead and tie a knot off on that loose end so that from then on you can just take off with your sewing. Now while you're sewing this all the way up through here, you need to be careful not to keep pulling the hair down into the thread when you're sewing before you cinch it down Take a, take a needle or something and pull the hairs out so that the, the thread only is holding skin and the hairs isn't all yanked down in there. It'll make a terrible looking seam. All right, the last thing you're gonna do after you stitch that up, you're gonna trim the excess off and take your foot and put your seam right on the inside like that. You're gonna let that dry just like that. One last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna trim off this loose end of string here so that that don't show. You can actually take maybe some tape and tape these toes together. Maybe, maybe a clamp or something, clamp this. Just something to hold that. But that's all you gotta do and let it dry. And then once it dries, you're just gonna find you a nice board, maybe an old a uh, plank, an old barn plank, or whatever you want. Drill your hole through that, mount it on there. Now this here has these tacks in it, so you can put it in the hole you drilled and drive it in, and it will hold, it won't spin, 
and you can turn the actual foot round and round like that and it'll it'll cinch it up to the board really tight and then you've got your gun rack there ready to go all right so that's how you mount a deer foot for a deer foot gun rack so we're proud that you watch this video we really appreciate you each and every one of you that supports this channel and i just could not bear to throw these nice beautiful unique feet away i've killed over a hundred deer in my life never killed anything like this and my 14 year old did it that's amazing so i just couldn't bear just throw them out so this is a great way to preserve them for him for many years to come and he can use them as a useful thing to hang his guns on or hat rack as far as that goes but anyway we're gonna get on out of here we appreciate you we will see you on the next video